What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna to be diving into my entire Premiere Pro workflow when I'm dealing with footage, how I back up, what drives am I using while editing, where's my media cache and scratch files? Well, let's jump into it. Before I show you my entire workflow, I wanna let you know what drives I have and what they do. So for starters, I have my Windows drive. This is also my boot drive where I install my OS and software, including Premiere Pro. It's a 250 gigabyte 970 Evo NVMe M.2 SSD from Samsung. It has a powerful read performance and a pretty impressive write performance. This allows Premiere to run smoothly and you can boot up Windows pretty fast. Now I also have a working drive and this is where I copy all of my project files to when I'm working on a project. I I like working off of a really fast drive to get those extremely impressive read and write performance, which leads to better playback and timeline scrubbing within Premiere Pro. And this is a 970 Evo Plus NVMe M.2 one terabyte, just to get that better write performance when copying files. And now I also have separated my media cache and scratch files to a separate SSD. And this is a 250 gigabyte Samsung 860 Evo. This allows me to easily clean out my media cache and temporary files because I don't want them bogging down my project files because those can accumulate and it will increase the file sizes of your project files. So separating that is a nice way to clean that out when needed. And finally, I have my storage drive and this is where I back up and store everything. And this is pretty impressive because I finally upgraded the Synology 8-Bay NAS to 10 gigabit connections. So now I have a read and write close to 600 megabytes per second. And this is my favorite thing ever. I have 40 terabytes, that's insane. All right, so in order to get set up with this three drive setup, we have our working drive right here. That's my A drive and my media cache and scratch drive right here. That's my B drive. So what I'm gonna do is double click on my media cache drive, right click and select new folder. And we're gonna name this Premiere Media Cache. And I'm also gonna right click and select new folder and also name one Premiere Media Cache Database because we need a database for our media cache. And then I'm also gonna right click one more folder and make this Premiere Scratch Files. All right, so once you do that, you can go into Premiere, go to the Edit tab, and head on down to Preferences, and go all the way down to Media Cache. Now, under the location, under Media Cache Files, I'm gonna select Browse and head on into Media Cache and select that Premiere Media Cache folder. And for the Media Cache database, I'm gonna select Browse, head on into Media Cache, and select the media cache database. So that will organize everything in there. So I can move the existing cache database to a new location or delete it. I'm just gonna delete it so I can start fresh. So once that is all selected, I can simply click OK. Now that is a global setting and I will never have to do that again. Whenever I start a new project, for example, I'm gonna show you a Utah example. Whenever you create a new project, whatever it is, you always have to go into Scratch Disk and make sure that your Premiere Scratch folder is selected. If it's not, you can simply click the Browse and go to that Premiere Scratch files and select that folder and it will automatically select that folder for the previous ones. This way, all of your Scratch files are organized into one folder and it's not bogging down your storage solution. Now that I'm creating a new project, let's browse for that location. So since I am going to be working on my working drive, this is where I'm going to keep all of my projects projects and files. So if I go into projects, click on the Utah road trip, I know that I have three days worth of footage. So this is going to be my root folder where I can house my Premiere Pro project files. I'm going to click that folder and let's name this the Utah road trip. All right. So all of my stuff is set. So now I can just click okay. 
So just imagine real quick that we created an entire project and we are happy with it. We finished that video and now what do we do with our files? Well, I will typically open up two finder windows. I'll go into my projects that are on my working drive and then I'll simply copy everything from the Utah road trip to my NAS. And this is my backup NAS, so I will have everything here. So if I go into videos 2020, I can go down to the Utah road trip and you can see that I have already backed up all of my stuff since I've already done this, but I'm gonna delete day three so I can show you how fast this actually works. I just click and drag day three over onto my NAS. Now keep in mind, this is not connected to my computer. This is connected to my computer via ethernet. And this is 10 gigabit ethernet, which is pretty incredible because I can transfer 150 gigabytes in about seven minutes. Now that's pretty dang fast. Well, I hope this video helped you get an idea of how I stay organized within Premiere Pro and how I can easily and quickly clean out scratch files, etc. And I hope to keep playing around with my NAS because this is a great way to stay organized and I want to continually organize my footage. So if you learned something today, please click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.